so guys we were discussing the gdp from two different approaches from normal gdp and uh, from uh, normal gdp to real gdp so nominal gdp represents the total money value of final goods and services produced in a given year with values that express in terms of the market prices of each year uh, in contrast real gdp removes price changes from the nominal gdp and causes and calculate gdp in terms of the quantities of goods and services so the actual difference is the, the price uh, just with all the inflationary effect uh, if we uh, count you know, the nominal gdp and real gdp so if you want to calculate real gdp so just uh, you know divide the nominal gdp by gdp price index so you'll get the real gdp now we'll discuss the core sectors of so uh, you know gdp or the component of gdp first is consumption so consumption is a larger part of gdp and almost two third or the 66 percent of personal consumption expenditure it has three uh, subcategories for example durable goods so it has autos furniture etc non-durable goods like food fuel clothing and services like uh, restaurant services, hair cutting services, all these services are considered in uh, you know services part of the GDP. On the other hand, the second part or second component of GDP is investment and capital formation. So investment consists of the addition to the nation's capital of a building, equipment, software, and inventories during a year, during any specified year. So real versus financial investment. Um, you know, I uh, I've already told you that the financial investment is a bit different from the real investment, or uh, the economics consider investment, or economics create investment in a different way rather than the financial investment. For example, financial investment is if you have money uh, at your home, so you just bring that money and buy some capital stocks. So this is financial investment. But the real investment is if you if you have um, money and it increases your productive capacity, so that is your real investment. Uh, just like uh, McDonald, if McDonald has uh, one machine to produce burgers and currently they are producing hundred burgers, and if they buy another machine and now their productive capacity has increased from 100 burgers to 200 burgers, so this is their real investment. So we'll consider this uh, their real, real investment. Second, gross versus net investment. So the gross investment is, is uh, you know, whenever there is a term gross, for example, there is a gross domestic product or GDP. So it means it has uh, an element of depreciation. So that is why GDP has uh, the component of investment which has depreciation included that is why it is considered cross investment so if we remove or reduce the depreciation from gross investment so it will become net investment so the third one is fixed investment uh, so it might be non-residential or residential investment then we consider inventories uh, in our investment uh, investment so then government purchases so government purchases has three different uh, subsections federal level for example kind of uh, you know defense spending or uh, federal expenditures uh, they are in federal level then we have provincial level uh, and then we have transfer payments I've already told you that transfer payment is the payment uh, limits that are made in return of nothing for example um, pensions for example other payments uh, the government made without getting anything in return so these are policy transfer payments and the fourth component of uh, GDP is net export this is the difference between exports and imports now we'll come to conclude that uh, how GDP NDP and what is the difference between GDP NDP and GNP I've already told you what is GDP. So now the NDP is the, the difference between GDP minus depreciation will get net domestic product. And this is also called national income. On the other hand, GNP is a measure that is national debate. So 
if you want to cal uh, calculate Pakistan's GNP, then we have to take the income of Pakistanis who are working abroad and sending money back to Pakistan. So this is called GNP. Now GDP at a glance, so the left hand side is production approach or we have personal consumption expenditures and investment and net exports and government expenditures. So this is C plus I plus G plus net exports. So the right hand side is earning or cost approach. Now we see what is national income. Uh, national income is the division of total income among the factor production. The total income received by the land, labor, and capital. If you subtract appreciation from GDP, so it will become national income. And um, you see the disposable personal income or disposable income if the, is the actual amount of dollars that the household actually have for spending. So if we subtract excess and net with the savings and add back transfer payments, so it will become disposable income. So here, this is the GDP, four component, consumption, investment, government purchases, and net exports. If you remove the appreciation from it, so it will become national income, or we can say that is uh, net domestic product. Then again, uh, if you remove or subtract taxes and net business saving from national income and add back transfer payment, so it will become disposable income. And that is the income that can be used for for the expenses. You know, saving and investment. You know um, what is the relationship between saving and investment in in macroeconomics? Uh, because we have already seen there is a component of GDP that is investment. So how investment comes and how, from where the money comes for the investment. So we see the household saves money. So that money goes to uh, investment through banking channel or financial sector. And that is why they are called financial intermediary. Banks and financial institutes are called in financial intermediary. And the process they do uh, to turn the, uh, the savings of household into investment is called financial intermediation. Right? Since here is the identity of uh, savings equal to investment, if the financial sector or financial intermediary are working properly or they are efficient, so they will convert all saving into investment and the economy will work properly or on the way of progress. So if we see what is saving basically, because saving uh, is the main uh, or the backbone of investment. So, was was the saving and uh, where comes the saving? So, national saving, the national saving is, uh, you know, uh, national saving has two component: private saving or government saving, or we can say the private saving plus public saving. So, private savings equal to income minus taxes minus consumption. And then the government saving is the taxes minus government expenditure. So um, here you can see the income, then uh, they pay the taxes, and then uh, they consume. So the money that has not been consumed is left, and that is left for money that is savings. So this is the private savings. On the other hand, government has to uh, think first is their revenue. They generate their revenue through taxes. And then from that income, they uh, they do their expenditure. So the difference between their income and expenditure is their saving. So if we add back all these two, so the saving, this is you know private saving and government saving. So both, both these, if we if we add all these two uh, two equations, so it will become our national saving. So national saving must be equal to investment. Now you can see here is a, uh, the this is the close economy because there is no uh, you know net export here. So how we calculate? So if there is income, income of five thousand, and government expenditures uh, one thousand, taxes one thousand, and this is the consumption function. This is called the consumption function. Uh, if you just calculate, so you can you can. 
this is investment the equation of investment because we know investment is a function of interest rate and there is a negative relationship between investment and interest rate so can you calculate all these things so please try all these and send it back to me uh, so i'll check uh, how you understand all this uh, all the all this lecture and everything so thank you so much thanks a lot